I'm Kaylee, and these are the classics, middle grade, and fantasy that I've been reading recently. In case you didn't know, Books for MKs is a charity that donates books to missionary kids. So if you'd like to donate to the kids, you can do so at GoFundMe.com. There is a link down in the description box, and there's a button at the end of this video. So first of all, the classics. I just read one classic book lately, and that was Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. After her mother's death, Mary arrives at Jamaica Inn on the coast of Cornwall to live with her aunt Patience and her uncle. She's never met her uncle, and he is a man feared throughout all the countryside because rumors of smuggling and murder surround Jamaica Inn. Mary is horrified when she discovers the truth about the inn, but it's too dangerous to go up against her vicious uncle until Mary receives help from an unexpected ally. The writing is expressive and really paints a picture of the moors and the countryside. The story is definitely striking, but I did find the plot a little bit predictable. Mary's character has a very good balance. She's plucky, but she's also vulnerable. The other characters are really vivid and interesting too, even the villains. Each person has such colorful dialogue and descriptions and, and body language and everything. It's like the person would just jump right off the page. I was truly afraid of the villains. I was truly sorry for poor, pathetic Aunt Patience. And I was absolutely disgusted with the nasty smugglers. I mean, I could almost smell them. They were so close to life. Excellent writing and a good tale of mystery and suspense. I gave Jamaica Inn four out of five stars. And now for the middle grade books that I've been reading. I have read two books from the Travels with Gannon and Wyatt series. I read Egypt, where Gannon and Wyatt are traveling uh, to do some archeological work among the Great Pyramids. And they are searching for the lost tomb of Cleopatra. They're up against superstition and tomb robbers and booby traps, false trails and bad weather and their own fears and doubts. It's a really dramatic adventure and I love the brotherly camaraderie between Gannon and Wyatt. They tease each other and annoy each other <laughs> and fight sometimes as all good brothers do, but ultimately they rely on one another through thick and thin. The action really takes off in this book with the plot moving forward quickly. And of course there's danger around every corner. The mysterious Egyptian setting is described in detail, revealing this beautiful culture and history. I really loved this one and I gave it four stars. Then in the next one, uh, the twin brothers Gannon and Wyatt travel by dog sled across Greenland. They're racing to the rescue of a native group of travelers whose dogs have become sick, stranding them out in the freezing Greenland weather. Battling the harsh winds and below freezing temperatures, the twins will need every bit of courage to survive. I just love the writing in these books. You can really feel the desperation of the characters, their awe for the beauties of nature, and their struggle to find that inner strength to endure such harsh conditions. This one is a really emotional story, but with lots of action and danger too. I loved finding about uh, new cultures and ways of life and, and the terrain and the wildlife of Greenland. There's a lot of good information in there peppered throughout the story, but it never slows down the action. I also gave this one four stars, such an enjoyable read. I've been slowly rereading through one of my favorite series, the Swallows and Amazon series by Arthur Ransom. And I recently read book number seven, We Didn't Mean to Go to Sea. In this one, the Welker children end up drifting out into the ocean and they have to use all their nautical know-how to survive. I love each and every character in these series. And in this one, tensions are running high because, you know, they're adrift out on the ocean. <laughs> but every new obstacle that comes up just shows every vibrant character at their best. And despite their fears and foibles, you end up cheering for them and so glad when they find the courage, you know, to, to continue on. <laughs> I just love every book in the series and I gave this one five stars. I've also been rereading some fantasy that I think this is my third time reading this series. So I read the third and fourth books in the Enchanted Forest Chronicles by Patricia C. Reed. I read Calling on Dragons and
and talking to dragons. I adore every book in this series. It's just so good. <laughs> There's an imaginative fantasy setting and really quirky characters. And of course, an adventurous plot full of magic and dragons and secrets and intrigue. It's just as wonderful rereading this quartet as it was reading it the first time. And those are the books that I've been reading recently. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you've read any of these. Uh, what did you think of them? And leave a comment and let me know what's a book you've been reading recently that has a really rich culture, a rich history, whether, whether it's a real history like Egypt and Greenland, you know, or whether it's a made up history, you know, of a fictional world. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.